What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel is an AFK journey video and we are going to be talking about dream round against King Croker. So we are on to the endless mode. Okay, so we've cleared all of the previous stages. Now I will say that the previous stages for those of you that are just starting out, it's mostly about levels. Okay, it's mostly about hero resonance. Um, and then really the, the team complications do come into play. I mean, Odie, yes, Odie's great in all the dream round stages. Okay. If he's at Mythic Plus, he can really help you get that extra percentage off the boss towards the end and he can do good damage. But in endless mode, things start to change. Okay. We start to need things like true damage and the game really doesn't give you the input of saying, Hey, you need true damage because you do. Okay. You really, really do. I'm unsure how good Flora Bow is in here. I can't imagine like she's massive. The only way I can see Flora Bow working is Flora Bow with 4 amp paired means that the boss is going to be nuking on top of 4 amp, triggering his ultimate, or say, say triggering, when his ultimate is up, he's going to soak that damage up and release more damage. So potentially Flora Bow will be great to pair up with um, Foran here because Foran's really going to start pushing those damage numbers out in comparison because we can't get you know enough enemies around oh, let's just talk let's stop we're going too far ahead let's just rewind okay your base teams your base teams let's let's go through this a little bit let's let's talk about this a little bit the best spell to use is star shard spell okay this is the best spell to use um you should all be using star shard spell if you have it unlocked um other than that i mean maybe even awakening spell if you're struggling to survive but Star Shard Spell is where it's at. I wouldn't use Blazing Spell. The only place to use Blazing Spell was against um, the Snow Boss. But Star Shard Spell is where it's at. Uh, you can see here, yes, okay, I do have a Rhaenyra at Mythic Plus now. But surprisingly, surprisingly, it's not that huge just yet. I'm sure it will become much bigger as we go on and more heroes release, etc. But for now, it's not absolutely massive what we are going to talk about in this is uh smoky being huge for this boss okay smoky is massive in king croker um his aoe you know he's buffing the attack he's healing all of our allies in range the more allies in range that we have the more rage or oh, i say rage regeneration um energy regeneration he's getting so that he can then trigger his ultimates again that then expands if you have him at mythic plus fantastic because smoky is going to do a good amount of damage to the boss as well Foran here at Mythic Plus. Yes, he may be at Supreme Plus, but at Mythic Plus, it sort of still counts. You get that, uh, the, the, the chain link between them. He's going to help your weakest survive. Okay. He's going to help your weakest survive, but also he's going to start to soak up a lot of damage. The reason he gets better at Supreme Plus is because of this. Okay. A Supreme Plus, we get a uh, Foran drains health from the enemy again when casting ultimate. So that draining of the health really does boost his damage really does boost his damage um vala i did use vala before this but i'm now using mary lee as you can see why am i using mary lee and why is she so damn good i have just made her weapon plus 10 because she's that good okay she's that good yes it's an a-level hero but she is great why because oh, i'm gonna have to go into her actual stats aren't i i know i won't her uh, a mythic plus she begins to deal marilee's attack is increased when allies cast an ultimate her normal attacks deal true damage after reaching max stacks okay so once she's reached max stacks um so when other allies have casted ultimate six times she is then going to be doing true damage to the boss we all know how good true damage is okay true damage ignores everything it is just pure damage against the boss meaning she can do a ton she will do more than a valor in here for instance um, her ultimate as well, she she leaps around so she can move about. Um, other than that, it is all about it is all about this um this 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 boost here from her weapon, giving her that true damage. But she also does increase attack and attack speed when no enemies are nearby, um, and increases crit damage boost during battle as well. So that's very nice. Cecilia actually doing okay for me for now. I will run a few compilations. I may snip a bits out during the fight and just give you the results to make the video a little bit shorter i don't want to drag it on forever um but if we don't have smoky if we don't have smoky rowan you may need to pair up with another healer okay 
he's not going to throw enough potions. Even at Mythic Plus, you may need him at Supreme Plus, possibly could do it. But he win would, would be a good shout in here as well. She will do a good enough job. You also have the likes of Coco, okay? Don't forget. Coco. Coco's still very, very good. All you need Coco at is Legendary Plus, and she's really going to negate a lot of damage coming onto your heroes. She's also going to boost their attack and give them life still so that they can heal, etc. But she's not going to be dealing the damage that Smokey does, okay? So Smokey is kind of replacing Coco now in my team. Um, so bear that in mind. Now, we are going to run it with this team. This seems to be the best team I can do it with at the minute. Yes, we have Rainier in here, but bear in mind, I will be switching Rhaenyra for, yes, Kruger in a moment. I will be switching him for Kruger at the moment. And he is only Epic or Epic Plus. Um, another hero we can use is the likes of Corrin. But I don't have my Corrin at Mythic Plus. He deals true damage to enemies when he and allied heroes cast a certain amount of ultimates. So Corrin then becomes massive as well. Because he is going to be dealing true damage alongside Mara Lee. At which point I'm probably removing Cecilia. If I could remove Cecilia and have a core at Mythic Plus here, it would boost my team's damage quite considerably, almost certain of it. Um, so that's something to consider as well. I'm going to run through this. The way I've got this set up is that Foren is protecting my Marilee because she is sort of squishy. She is level 200 in comparison to these, but, you know, she gets hit a lot more. So we'll run this. We'll run this one and we will see the damage outcome. Um, I will snip bits off i mean what's important here is you can see everyone's inside of smoky's ring so that boosting his rage generation i said rage generation again it's just energy isn't it it's just energy sorry i'm coming from different games um so we're boosting that rainier here is increasing the damage taken by 25 percent on the boss so he's doing his part there um also look here's the damage from smoky at mythic plus to see her is throwing in Mr. Carlisle, which they seem to do decent damage together, okay? Um, it's just more damage. It's another unit, isn't it? It's another unit. But if you was using Florabelle now, for instance, then Foram would be getting these big bombs dropping on him, okay? Because the boss would be targeting all the little ads next to Foram and um, the, the triggered ones from Florabelle. So that's something to consider if you have spent on her. What are we at here? 22 seconds left. 20.5 million. Everyone is still alive. Everyone is still alive. Is this a good rotation? Can we trigger another? There we go. We do trigger another star shard. There we go. That is a new one. 23? No. 22,987. Still a good score, right? It's still a good score. Let's have a look at the statistics of what did what. And now you're going to see why Marily is so big. Look at this. Look at this from Marily. Marily, nearly, nearly 10 million damage alone. Okay. Foran doing 3.7 million. Smokey doing a generous 2.5. And Cecilia still doing 2.6. Now, what I want to do next is I want to swap Cecilia out for Odie. And then I'm going to show the result. Exactly the same. I'll keep it exactly the same. But I am going to switch out Cecilia for Odie. And we can see that comparison. So let's throw this in. All right, so we're 15 seconds left, and you can see Foran is dead. Everyone else is still alive, and we've got a good score going on here. It's actually going to be close, but people start to drop off. That's because Mr. Carlisle is actually negating some damage from our team as well. He is actually negating some damage, kind of, because the boss may be triggering a hit on him. Let's have a look here what Odie did. Odie did 2.9, so it was less than Cecilia. And Marilee only did 8.2 that time because she died early. So let's switch this about one more time. We are now... Okay, so we're going to go into battle. And we've changed the team. We've took Rhaenyra out, okay? We've lost our faction bonus. We've lost our extra... Is it 10% or 14%? Is it 10 or 14? My goodness. We've lost, we've lost our bonus, okay? We've lost our bonus. We no longer have a free faction paired because we have Kruger in here. We have Smokey, Foran, Marily, and Cecilia. Now, why Kruger, you're going to ask? Why the hell are you using an Epic Plus Kruger? I did explain earlier, but I'm going to have to explain again. Okay? He is going to run up. He's going to run up. He's going to be next to Foran. And that's important that we then pair Foran with Kruger so he can survive longer. Now, Ceci is going to summon Mr. Carlisle. There will be three stacked heroes against King Croker, meaning King Croker is going to launch his 
whatever the hell he is, mucus he's spewing on them. And then that's going to boost Forehand's damage because he's going to soak that up in his ultimate and he's going to do attack. But that's not all that Kruger does for us, okay? Let's have a look here. So, each stack reduces the target's physical defense by 10% up to four stacks on a target on his ultimate, okay? Um, after that, attacks an enemy, reducing armor as well. Wait. Yeah, inflicts him with shatter armor, but... Yeah. Inflicts them with three stacks of shatter armor. You can have four stacks. So a hit from this one here. His I don't know what the hell it is. I can't see it right now. And his ultimate will then be four stacks, reducing the enemy's defense by is it forty percent? Yeah, so it'll be forty percent defense reduction. This skill here, Kruger launches a powerful attack. Yeah, and with armor lower than who are not vulnerable. This is this isn't going to help him. The physical damage taken is increased by 40% and 40% of the damage taken is transformed to Kruger's health. So he would have self healing as well if he was higher level. Next increases the range of the defense by uh, 16 during battle. And his mythic plus when a battle starts, Kruger gains a shield that blocks damage equal to 40% to 15 seconds if no allies are present within the surrounding one tile. The shield also grants him control immunity. Additionally, Kruger gains 30 life drain when no allies are detected within the surrounding one tile but that's not going to matter here because he is going to be right next to the forearm okay let's see how this works so we've got forearm and uh kruger paired up we have mara lee in here we have cecia and cecia you could probably change the flora bow as well okay flora bow would work in here and i don't know if that would give you a faction bonus actually that would give you the faction bonus so that would be even better than to see it in here is to have flora bow you would do much better. So Mr. Carlisle is now up here. We have three enemies here. The boss is going to start to throw nukes on these three. There we go. You see it? So that's why it's important to have Kruger protected by Foran with that chain link. We have the heals coming in. I don't expect Kruger to, to survive. It won't happen every time because of the way Mara Lee is jumping around. But when it's like this... It should go on them. There you go. Kruger is now dead. Okay. It is now dead. But the stacks remain. You can see the debuff on the boss here. You can see the debuff granting Mary Lee much more damage. Mr. Carlisle and Cecilia to do more damage to the boss thanks to that reduction. Let's see what kind of score we can get. Hopefully we can survive a bit longer. We're going to hit 20, 21, maybe, maybe 21. We need to trigger this. Two more ultimates. Okay, here that comes a trigger. 20.1. Three seconds left. I mean, come on. That's a good score. That's a good score. That's an epic plus hero in there as well. Just from using Kruger. So again, another good team. Another very, very good team. What next can we do? So we're going to throw in Rhaenyra. We're going to take out Cecilia. Okay. And we're going to think, right, well, the increase of damage from Rhaenyra, the faction bonus. So increasing damage taken because of the Mythic plus Rhaenyra, 25%. Reduction in armor, 40%. Marilee should nuke, right? But that's our only damage really coming here, considering Kruger is going to die pretty early on, or I would assume. No, he won't, will he? He won't die early on. And in this case, we probably should be pairing up Marilee with Foram because we haven't got the free allies against Croker, so we're not getting those AoE nukes. So we're always going to be getting hits here. So we will do less damage with Foram, but how much more damage is Mary Lee going to do if she can survive? Okay, so I'm predicting that crew yeah, is going down now. Foran will go down next. Sixteen million thirty seconds left. Can we hit twenty million? We should, right? No. We need two more ultimates if we're going to. One more ultimate. No, we don't make it. Okay, so 19.25 million. That's another kind of team compilation that we can use. Again, I would like to be testing Flora Bell right now just to see how it's doing. All right, let's take out Kruger. Let's bring in the old school Coco and yeah. 
but we don't seem to take quite as much damage okay this is much of an earlier team you probably don't have Mary Lee but you would be using this kind of team Mary Lee, Odie, um, Smokey and Coco because this team here was is great for all of the dream realms pretty much um, like I said Mary Lee you'd be switching out with either Valor or, or Cecilia um, but we're going to throw a Marily and just see what this team can do. Because this is going back old school now. I say old school. The game isn't that old, right? But this is our team from before. Now, yeah, okay, they're all getting hit here because they're all stacked up. But this is the kind of team that people have access to. And Coco only needs to be Legendary Plus, okay? It only needs to be Legendary Plus. You can see the amount of less damage that we're taking. I would really like to have my Corin at Mythic Plus right now to show you guys as well. I will do another video when I get that. What can we hit? I reckon... I reckon 18. It may, it may go more. It may go more. I don't know. Hey, it may do a new high score, imagine. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? It would be funny. It'd be like, idiot. Idiot, Kazak. Okay, we've smashed the 18, and we're going strong. Foran's now dead. My goodness. Is it... Look at this. Five seconds left. Is it Canoe? That was close. 22-729. 22729. We're going to check what our one was before that. Good damage in here. 22729. And our highest, 22987. <laughs> <laughs> kidding me. You're kidding me. So there we have it. There we have it. The old team still going strong. Coco, Smokey, Odie, Marily, and Foran. Okay. Odie and Marily must be at least Mythic Plus for that to work. Both of mine are, I mean, you'd have them at Supreme because you'd upgrade them. They're not Supreme Plus, though. They're both Supreme. Um, Smokey is Supreme Plus. Foran is Supreme Plus. And Coco is Legendary Plus. So that is a strong, strong team. Can't, can't deny it, can we? We can't deny that. So that is going to be it for this video. It went on a lot longer than I expected, but I hope it's given you some kind of improvement to your team because that's what it's all about that's what it's all about so make sure you click like subscribe and comment below if this video helped you and you want to see future content from me i'll see all of you in the next one have a fantastic day even wherever you are goodbye